Oh, <laughs> hello there. Did you see me do my exercises then in the garden? I think so. Hmm. Hmm. Here we are then. All together once more. Yes, it is something we call English addict. And guess what it is? It is live from the birthplace of England, which happens to be. Yes. English in England with Mr. Duncan. <laughs> oh, I'm out of breath. I'm very sorry about that. Da, 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 da. Whew, that's better. Whew. I was once more able to fill my lungs with that beautiful, lovely oxygen. Hi, everyone. Hi, everyone. Hello. How are you? Are you OK? Sorry, I'm late. Yes, I am late. I can't believe how late I am. Once again, I do apologize. Unfortunately, today the weather is very strange. It's cloudy also very close to where i live there have been lots of storms the rain has been falling quite heavily around this area so i've had to make some rearrangements i've had to change some of the things that i'm doing because of the possibility of there being rain so that's what i've been doing and that is my excuse for being late today all I need to do now is find the live chat. Come on, live chat. Where are you? I know you're here somewhere. <laughs> oh, there you are. How lovely to see you again. Oh, here we go then. So it looks as if the live chat is now up and running, which is always a good thing. Don't you think? Yes, I definitely have my smile now. Can I say a big hello to Mosen, Vitas, Flower Espoir, Martha and also Adrian. Guess what? You are first on today's live chat. <laughs> very nice. Very, very nice indeed. Nice to see you all here today. I know yesterday I was full of beans. A lot of people were commenting on yesterday's live stream. Mr. Duncan, you looked as if you had a lot of beans yesterday. <laughs> I did seem quite excited yesterday about many things. I don't know why, but I was in a very good mood today. Something else coming up today. We will be having a look at Mr. Steve doing some gardening. However, I don't want to start off today's live stream with sad news, but unfortunately today, Mr. Steve is not feeling very well. He's not feeling very well. Don't worry. It's nothing serious. It is nothing to do with nothing to do with that. OK, before anyone says anything. However, Steve is feeling a little under the weather. However, guess what he will be with us because Steve well what can I say he is a trooper he will always appear on my live streams however he is feeling whatever the situation even if Steve is feeling slightly under the weather which he is today unfortunately but he will be here a little bit later on joining us on the live chat just to show how delicate Steve is today. This is where he will be. He'll be sitting in his little comfortable chair today. So that is what Steve is doing later. He will be sitting in his chair. He will be sitting back and well, I'm sure he, he will have something interesting to say. I am pretty sure of it. I am pretty sure he will have something interesting to say oh, 
I hope he does Steve if you're watching please have something interesting to say <laughs> so it is Sunday oh my goodness I can't believe we have made it all the way to Sunday Oh dear yes you can tell you can tell always tell you can always tell when I'm doing my live streams because someone <laughs> someone will start using their very noisy garden equipment and as you can hear today is no exception I don't know why people have machines that make so much noise many of these things now are electronic or some of them are driven by petrol motors motors that are fueled with petrol hello Francesca hello everyone on the live chat nice to see you here today I will try my best to compete with the noise behind me so excuse me if there is a little bit of noise but it's always the way whenever I start my live streams there is always someone nearby who wants to make some noise like that you see yeah. today also we will be doing a little bit of decorating in the kitchen I will be showing you a video clip of the time when I showed you my decorating skills so that's also something we'll be looking at a little bit later on as well <sighs> Marina says hello happy Mother's Day in your country to Palmyra so Palmyra is actually celebrating Mother's Day today so can I say happy birthday to the mothers who are watching at the moment everywhere in the world in fact it is nice to see you here today very very nice indeed and Amina Amina Amona hello to you I am so happy to assist your live maybe you mean join maybe you actually mean join your live so perhaps you mean I am happy to join your live join is to become part of something if you join something you become part of that thing maybe a group an organization or a chat that's taking place on the internet like this you see hello also to Beatrice Francesca is here also we have Cory hello Cory hello Mika Mika and also Luis Mendez is here today we are all together once again on Sunday it is the 3rd of May 2020 I wonder I wonder what word we could use to describe this year this actual year so not last month but this year is there a simple word we could use to describe 2020 when you think about it it's crazy really because we are only into May it's only the fifth month of the year we are only four months and I suppose three days into 2020 and already things are crazy we are not even halfway through 2020 what is going to happen next I wonder I have no idea anyway I hope you're feeling good I hope you are feeling happy today a lot of people are here now thank you very much hello Reza we are all like a big family on this channel thank you Reza yes I always like to think 
that we are together sharing our experiences of life also we are here to share our love of English as well because we are English addicts as the sign above me says we are all English addicts we are how is the quarantine going the quarantine at last is going to finish tomorrow says Giovanni Giovanni you are lucky so your quarantine period is ending tomorrow however here in the UK it looks as if we are going to continue with it for a, for quite a long time to be honest I noticed also in France I think they have extended the lockdown until the 25th of July is that right really so that is something I saw on the news last night they were talking about France extending all of their lockdown and their social distancing until the 25th of July that's incredible so I don't really know how long it is going to last here I don't know I have no idea we all we are all waiting at the moment hello Cristiano please send a kiss a kiss to my 12 year old son oh <laughs> okay <laughs> my 12 year old son Lucas hello Lucas nice to see you here and how are you enjoying your life so far I hope you are having a wonderful time and I hope that Cristiano is taking good care of you what's that you said you wanted some ice cream you want some ice cream do you Lucas wants some ice cream and if you have some to spare can I have some as well can I have some ice cream as well that would be ever so nice really nice I have to say thank you to someone in fact I have to say thank you to two people excuse me a moment I have to say a very big thank you to Mirel and also Frederick or Frederic. Can I say a big thank you to both of you for your lovely kind donations that you sent yesterday? So thank you to Mirel and also Frederic for your lovely kind donations on PayPal. Thank you very much. I do appreciate your lovely gesture and of course you have to also remember that I do all of this for free so everything I do is free it doesn't cost anything and I've been doing it free for a very long time how long have I been doing this for I'm sure you really want to know do you want to know how long I've been doing this for a very very long time indeed so can I say thank you very much to Morel and also Frederick for your lovely kind donations and there you can see also the address on the screen now if you want to send a small donation or a large donation maybe if you've just won the lottery maybe you've just won millions and millions and millions of dollars <laughs> you can send a little bit my way if you want Ooh, very nice it is sunday sunday it's a, it's a fun day my my water just fell on the floor excuse me i have come prepared today i have my bottle of water just in case just in case my throat becomes bad uh, I am still suffering from hay fever unfortunately yesterday it wasn't too bad the day before it was fantastic because we had lots of rain one of the good things about having hay fever is that when it rains your hay fever disappears unfortunately when the rain disappears your hay fever comes back unfortunately not very good not very good at all we will be going in the kitchen 
to well we won't be cooking in the kitchen today instead we are going to do some decorating in the kitchen a little bit later on also we have oh who else is here i can't ignore the live chat or else i will get into trouble hello mr duncan from adelina hello adelina marcos nice to see you here today this is mr duncan for those who don't know who are you my name's duncan and i teach english here on youtube and now i am talking to you live from the birthplace of the English language which just happens to be England yes it's true hello Lechleet hello as well to you hello Lechleet also Sylvie Sylvie Taurus in France you say in May you can do whatever you want oh I like that I like the idea of that to be honest with you no matter what month whatever the month may be I always try to do what I want especially if it is something helpful and useful Annie Korn hello Annie when you start your live stream Mr Duncan we are always happy I'm pleased to hear that I am glad that you are feeling happy because dee -dee -dee, I am also feeling happy today with my lovely smiley face so yes I like to think that my live streams are fun and also useful at the same time I always like to think that anyway hello also to arts be next the garden will become like woodland and all the UK will be like prehistoric times again I would imagine there, there must be parts of the UK at the moment so in this country there must be many areas where the wildlife is returning because there are no people around did you see something yesterday I think it was in India did you see the wonderful video on the news we saw it yesterday in India where all of those beautiful flamingos were all gathering in a large lake near a city in India and there are all the all of there were hundreds and hundreds of these beautiful birds some of them were white and some of them were pink but they were beautiful very beautiful birds very elegant oh I like that word elegant flamingos are very elegant birds I like them hello Corrie as I wrote yesterday you could go on a span a spanel conjuan it gives you the opportunity to find plenty of great podcasts of Juan he is a very funny teacher so there is someone on YouTube is it YouTube or maybe his own website who is actually teaching Spanish pretty good a lot of people are interested in Spanish many languages around the world now are spreading very fast Spanish of course we have French which is spoken in many places and of course English we mustn't forget English Ooh, we must not <laughs> hello also to Arts B again hello also to Anna Rita hello to Jamelia hello Jamelia the lockdown has been extended to the end of the current month here in Algeria so in Algeria the lockdown is continuing until the end of May I'm not sure what's happening here to be honest I don't know what's happening here in the UK we might be doing this forever who knows but things are a little well I don't want to say bleak I think bleak is is a very strong word but not good not positive at the moment so things in the UK at the moment are not positive but I suppose they are not bleak bleak so if things are really bad and if it seems as if there is no hope for anyone 
we might use the word bleak there was a famous story called bleak house hello to Chris Morales hello Louisa hello also Ivan Ivan I'm sorry I'm late don't worry I was also late today I was quite late I think it must have been around 10 past 10 past 2 when I started today so I was quite late for which I apologize hello also to Reza May is a good month to go to the riverside with friends and play volleyball 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 is a very strange sport I always think because the ball is very light it isn't a heavy ball it's very light so yes you can play volleyball by the riverside hello Julie hello Anna Pika Saturino is here as well oh my goodness we are all here today because we love English so much we really do by the way I want to play a little game today would you like to play a game with me <coughs> I hope so today we are playing a game and the name of the game is if I can find my piece of paper if I can find the paper today's game is the sentence game and you can play at home so please if you want to you can play along at home in which case you might need a pen and a piece of paper so if you have a pen pen and also a piece of paper because you will need to do a little bit of work today oh mr. Duncan you are giving us some work to do this is very unusual so today we are playing something called the sentence game you can play along at home if you want you are more than welcome to do so the game is very simple what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you four words four random words what you have to do is create a sentence or a statement with those words in the sentence so you have to use all of those words in the same order so you can't change the order they have to appear in the sentence in the same way but what you also have to do is write it down and then you can write it on the live chat as well so what I want to do is show you four words and we, we will do this a few times so I'm not just doing it once we will we will have a few games we will have a few rounds of the sentence game it's something I have invented I made it up in my brain my little brain it started working suddenly I knew it was working because there was smoke coming out of my ears that is always the sign that my brain has started working the sentence game you can play along at home I am going to show you four words you have to write those words down and then you have to create a sentence using those words Ooh is that difficult is that hard do you think we will find out a little bit later on I will give you the words and then all you have to do is create a sentence the only rule is that you must use all of the words in the order that I give you however you can use as many words as you want so there isn't a limit but please don't make an essay so don't write an essay just give me a sentence where you are using all of those words in that order so don't worry I will give you time to get your pen and piece of paper 
and then once you've written it down you can actually put it on the live chat and I might read some of them out as well we might even get mr. Steve to play the game as well we will try to get Steve to play along as well the sentence game is a game you can play if you want to improve your English if you want to become a master or mistress of the English language sometimes you have to practice your word power and a very good way of doing that is to play the sentence game we will be doing that in a little while I will not rush you I will take my time and then you will have a chance to play along in a little while a little while what time is it by the way I've lost my goodness it is 20 to 3 already soon we will have mr. Steve joining us I can't believe it I don't know what happened this morning I was getting ready and then suddenly the time disappeared it suddenly vanished into thin air as Shakespeare would say that's where it went I'm also going to show you an average normal common everyday item something that is in my house that I sometimes use here is something that I use in my house every night so here is something that I use every night in my house I wonder if you can guess what it is so it is something you only use after dark so once it has become dark this is a thing that you use I'm sure a lot of you will guess that it might be some sort of light well if you think that you would be right here it is so this is today's little item and this is something that I find very useful I'm sure maybe perhaps somewhere in your house perhaps you have one of these so this particular thing is a very useful item it is called a night light night light and the reason why you have a night light is normally to make a part of your house somewhere in your house safe at night so maybe if you have to get out of bed especially me you see because I'm I'm actually at a certain age where I have to get out of bed quite often in the night to go to the toilet you see so my, my little night light will light up the area where I have to go to the bathroom and it's great because it comes on automatically at night so as soon as it goes dark this little light will come on and it will keep the area in my house the small area lit so if I have to leave the bedroom if I have to go to the bathroom I can see where I'm going so this is a very useful thing it isn't very bright so fortunately the light itself isn't very bright so it just allows me to see where I'm going if I am going somewhere in the dark and quite often I am normally to the bathroom so there it is a very useful item I have two of these in the house and they are very useful and of course a lot of people are afraid of the dark some people don't like to be in a dark room or a dark place so quite often you will put one of these maybe in the bedroom perhaps you have a child a young child who might be slightly afraid or nervous of the dark so there it is night light and you can see here at the front this thing at the front is a little sensor so this sensor can tell it can sense the light and the darkness so as soon as the light disappears as soon as it gets dark the sensor will activate the light and it will come on so I think this is a brilliant piece of equipment very simple but it really does do a very good job 
so I have two of these what about you do you have one of these night light the name of this I suppose it, it, it really does express what it does very well it lights your house at night it is a night light many parents will have one of these in their their child's bedroom so that the room is not too dark some people don't like the dark hello to Zor hello Zor oh and also Sergio is here my first thought was it was something to kill the mosquitoes yes it does look like that doesn't it there are devices that you can plug in that will release certain chemicals into the air and, and that will keep the mosquitoes away so that particular thing isn't one of those it is a night light you use it to light your room when it's dark hello Haklau Haklau likes the dark okay what about if you're walking alone at night what if you are walking through a forest and there is no light anywhere what about then would you be afraid then would you be frightened of the dark forest hello for my daughter oh my daughter's night light is a yellow star the night light gives a secure atmosphere I think yes it is good for many reasons one of my my favorite reasons of course is if you have to get up in the night you can find your way safely without falling over or hitting your head on something so yes my little night light keeps just a small area of the house light so just a small area so if I have to go to the toilet at the in night night time at night that, that is really annoying me I'd love to know what they're doing what are they actually cutting Annie corn hello Annie I am afraid of the dark oh I'm sorry to hear that Annie well maybe you should get a night light Ooh. and then it will give you a little bit of comfort and also security as well you will feel safer has does the night light plug go into the socket yes you can see here so there you can see the plug socket so there is the plug you can see here and you just plug that into the wall and then it stays on all the time but it only comes on when it's dark so when this senses darkness it will light up it's brilliant as I said I've got a couple of these I always take one on holiday with me as well if I ever travel anywhere abroad <laughs> I always take one of these because I never know what the lighting situation will be in the hotel room so I always take my night light with me when I go on holiday <laughs> what's wrong with you Duncan are you five <laughs> maybe hello also to Palmyra hello also to Cory hello also to Saturino yes my my lamp has a little photo sensitive cell it can sense light so when the light appears it will do the opposite so when it when it's light the device will turn off and when it's dark it will come on Chris my aunt has a solar night light oh very nice it's rechargeable from sunlight and turns on without electricity that's a good idea actually I might think of that I might think about that 
I will try to find a solar panel or a solar powered nightlight Valentina says I should buy a nightlight to avoid burglars again that's a good idea a good idea a lot of people like to have lighting inside and also outside their house because at night some people feel better if they have extra light it makes them feel safer I suppose it makes them feel more comfortable and secure mr. Duncan I think they they were waiting for your live stream to start before they began their gardening with their noisy devices yes I think you're right maybe they maybe they realize that I'm doing this perhaps they're doing it on purpose it's it's a conspiracy against me <laughs> no not really I don't really think that okay I don't think that I don't think that's true definitely not <laughs> yes it does have a little sensor inside the night light is very useful it is one of my most used devices in the house so there are many things that we use every day in our houses and I would say my night light is used every day well every night definitely definitely every night hello Zor mr. Duncan when will you teach us new words that you could make examples of the sentences using it soon I am going to do it soon I am going to give you a try so now we are going to try my new game the sentence game I'm going to show you four words write the words down but I want you also to make a sentence and I will play as well so I will play with you as well I'm playing along with you <laughs> would you like the first four words okay now I'm not going to rush you I am going to give you time to come up with your words and also your sentences so just a moment I call this the sentence game all you have to do is write down the words and then I want you to make a sentence using those words are you ready oh can I say hello to Thomas Thomas Castro for your donation on the live chat thank you very much thank you Thomas and also thank you very much for your lovely thumb as well thank you very much thank you also for your donation thanks a lot I really do appreciate it thank you that will help me continue to do this every day here we go these are the words you can see the words she hand shoe tomorrow do you have any sentences that you can make with those words so please keep the order the same so don't change the order they have to come in this order but you can create a sentence using those words write it down on a piece of paper I will give you a few moments she hand shoe tomorrow mm. you can write the words down I'm not going to rush you don't worry I'm not going to rush you there is no hurry she hand shoe tomorrow all you have to do now is create a sentence a sentence using those words but they must be in that order they must and I will give you a few moments to do that so there is no rush no rush 
oh a lot of people are already making their sentences very quick <laughs> my goodness once again thank you to Tomas Castro thank you very much and I suppose I should give you a lovely round of applause as well thank you very much for your generosity thank you Tomas So we have some answers already coming through. Oh my goodness. So I will show you the words again. I don't want to rush you. So this is not this is not some sort of speed test. You can take your time. There is no rush. So the words are she hand shoe tomorrow. So let's have a look, shall we? Cho, hello, Cho. She gave me the hand. She gave me the hand to sell shoes tomorrow. I think I know what you're trying to say there. She gave me a hand to sell the shoe tomorrow or maybe she will give me a hand at the shoe shop tomorrow so i understand what you are saying there if you give someone a hand it means you are helping them you are giving them some help you are giving them a hand she will give me a hand at the shoe shop tomorrow i like that one very good massimo says she is going to hand her shoes in tomorrow so again we are using hand but in a different way if you hand in something you are giving you are passing something to a person you are handing them the shoes now I will allow shoes because of course most people have two shoes they don't just have one <laughs> so when people walk around we normally have or quite often we have a pair of shoes so I will allow shoes as the plural i'm being very generous today don't you think do we have any more ah okay bao yan is going down a very similar road she is going to hand over her shoes to me tomorrow she is going to hand over her shoes to me tomorrow so again you are using the plural of shoe because normally we have a pair of shoes so that is what we are talking about and of course hand over so you hand over you hand in here's a good example if you find something in the street maybe a wallet you might take it to the police station and you will hand in the wallet so to hand in something is to give something over to another person normally something you found you hand in the item you hand in the wallet i will hand this in i will give it to a particular person she hand shoe tomorrow she will give me a hand at the shoe shop tomorrow here's another one roma roma she will give me a hand with shoe repairing 
tomorrow oh I like that one she will give me a hand with shoe repairing tomorrow shoe repairing you are putting damaged or broken shoes can you break a pair of shoes I suppose you can you can damage them you can wear the shoes so the use of the word wear is being used in two different ways wear means to put something on your body normally an item of clothing such as a hat so I wear my hat you wear shoes however you can also use the word wear to mean damage through use so maybe you wear something out you wear out your hat you wear out your shoes so the word wear can be used in two different ways two different ways what time is it mr duncan oh let's have a look shall we <gasps> guess what everyone it's three o'clock we will have some more words later on so this is just the first set of words but we will be doing this again later on and maybe i will also get mr steve to join in as well by the way if you are wondering what those strange sounds are there is a squeaking it isn't mr. Steve's joints it isn't his old bones complaining actually it is the, the very comfortable chair that my next guest is going to be sitting in for the next hour at least as long as he doesn't fall asleep the thing I'm worried about is that Steve might start to fall asleep yes here he is everyone it's mr. Steve oh oh <coughs> hello mr. Duncan would you like a round of applause um, yes okay a round of applause for mr. Steve hello. <laughs> it's very cold today, wait, 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 there, wait there Steve we haven't finished <laughs> let, let the applause finish at least it's very cold hence I've got a hat on a thick coat I've even got a scarf under here uh, because I just feel very cold today Mr Duncan I don't know how you can stand there in just a shirt I, I did mention earlier Steve that you're not feeling great today you're feeling a little under the weather a little bit I'm not sure why it's because I've been working so hard cooking cleaning gardening digging that I'm just worn out because I do of course as you all know I do all the hard work around here yes and, and, and Mr Duncan just does this show and you always let me know <laughs> about it you always let me know what were you doing this morning when I came down this morning Steve was in the kitchen and he was taking <laughs> he was taking the oven to pieces I was on my hands and knees on the kitchen floor because well mr. Duncan I noticed that um, mr. Duncan always cooks normally on a Monday at least because I normally go out on a Monday so mr. Duncan normally cooks and he probably cooks a couple of times a week to be fair uh, but he uses this baking tray a okay. baking tray something that you put items on that you want to cook in the oven a baking tray but it has become very stained and all the fat from the food has turned in black and you know what it's like if you do baking or cooking in the oven the trays become over a period of time they become very dirty and you can't scrape off all the burnt marks the fat marks things like that so yes. I thought I will clean this this morning because I know that there's a certain chemical that uh, will, will take off will clean uh, things like this very well <laughs> and then I got distracted and thought well I might as well clean the whole oven while I'm at it uh, because that's the sort of thing I easily get distracted because the oven door was plastered in in, in, in marks mm, dirty yeah. greasy marks and you couldn't see in okay. the bottom of the oven was 
covered in dirty oil basically because because we haven't cleaned the oven for many many years i think it's fair to say that neither of us so not just me but also steve as well steve also yes he also didn't clean the oven but but yes you are right there, there is one thing i agree with steve it did need doing because every time you switch the oven on you got this strong smell of burning oil everything and mm. burnt leftover food and isn't the oven it's one of the least favorite jobs to do yes in the kitchen anything scrubbing your oven is a hard effort so anyway i've got this shall i show you what happened when i attempted to clean the baking tray yes can i just say it didn't end well well i used this there we go <laughs> that steve do you realize what that actually is and what it does caustic soda which is used for cleaning drains yeah and the the clue is in the name yeah. it's caustic it Some, burns yeah something caustic uh, but Some, ah but mr duncan i'm trying to explain the word caustic first go on caustic something that, that will literally react with whatever it touches yes it burns particularly skin uh you do not want to get this on your uh on your on your skin because it will eat into your skin and dissolve your skin away but you can buy it for cleaning drains and it's very good it's very good at that but a, a dilute solution of this <laughs> is also used in commercial products as <clears throat> as an oven cleaner but of course me thinking i'm clever mm. i'm not going to spend extra money on on uh, oven cleaner when i can make my own from caustic soda uh so i had a go and let me let <laughs> mr duncan um came down and saw all this sort of bubbling reaction well, taking place well, oh no but the tray was there it was in the kitchen now steve will show you the baking tray and, and it used to look lovely it used to have this lovely black coating but unfortunately because steve decided to to put caustic soda all over it he's managed <laughs> to dissolve the actual surface here we go oh my steve you, you've ruined it that's the baking tray mind you it wasn't very good before I, it was covered in old baked on yes. food you don't have to sit forward by the way which you couldn't <laughs> get off so i've ruined it i've ordered another one on amazon mr duncan which will arrive within two days okay um and i can use this in the garden mm. for mixing things it's but, very it's very tough yes but but you've uh, ruined it i've ruined it but it was already ruined because you couldn't clean it because mr duncan had left it for so long well it's gone from uh, root it's gone from slightly ruined <laughs> steve it's gone from slightly ruined to very ruined that had an enamel coating on it it and did it's dissolved it away yeah. anyway i've ordered another one okay and uh, hopefully uh we'll be you'll be able to cook me my tea uh in the next couple of days steve <laughs> with the new baking tray have you learnt anything from your mistake well it, uh, well i used the proper uh, um, i then i diluted it and used uh, a much weaker solution inside the oven and that has done a perfect job okay uh and uh, i'm sure mr duncan will agree the oven now looks clean and spotless mm. and uh, you can actually see through the glass door for the yeah. first time in about two years to see what's cooking inside fortunately uh, fortunately steve managed not to dissolve the oven we still have the oven fortunately well i had purchased a number of years ago a proper uh product which is used for um cleaning ovens uh, so i used that one it was like a, a gel uh, and that worked very well needed a bit of scrubbing and i took, had to take the glass off there were some screws uh, and it looks lovely now and the yeah. glass the, the, the light itself also had uh black 
dried on, baked on food all over it. So I yeah. clean that as well. I think most of it is just grease. Grease, it's grease. When you cook things in the oven, a roast dinner, anything, the grease spits everywhere and then if you don't wipe it off eventually it turns black mm. and hardens on yes and that <laughs> is a problem with ovens and mr duncan uses a lot of fat es when he's es cooking especially if you don't clean the oven for about seven years uh, that also that also happens yes uh yeah so i would advise you not to buy caustic soda actually that stuff is very very it's very dangerous as well Yes, it is. Because it tells you on the instructions when you're making up a solution to unblock your drains <laughs> uh, that you must not add water to the crystals. It's like a, it's like a pa like a crystal. Yes, you don't, you don't have to. <laughs> when you're mixing the solution, you must uh, add the crystals into water not the other way round. otherwise it can sort of explode in your face yes it's well, very dangerous well, stuff you can do scientific uh, experiments with caustic soda can't you sodium hydroxide yes you have to be careful it's a chemical name and it's yes. very caustic it will dissolve skin away yes. uh, i mean it's the opposite of acid it's a very strong alkaline mm. and you mustn't get it on aluminium because it will dissolve aluminium yeah. <laughs> but it's all right on steel and if you get even a little bit on your hands you can feel it dissolving your skin. It's quite a nice feeling. I suppose one of the things you could do, Steve, you could do some some weird experiments on different things. Uh, yes, Artsby says there's there's no chance of in the oven now because it's all dead. <laughs> oh, I see. Are we talking about? Can I say the shorter version of it? No. Okay. Just just mouth. Yes, we know what you're saying. Everyone knows what you're saying. Steve put the television on this morning. <laughs> it's it's great. I have a new game now that I like to play, and that's how long will it take for someone on television to say I I now this morning I, I came downstairs, Mr. Steve was watching TV, he had it on, and within I think three seconds of my walking into the room someone said the word literally within seconds you can't actually get through a minute without someone on television saying it I wouldn't have minded but it was the weather forecast <laughs> what does what has that got to do with anything <laughs> uh Tamara says I often use caustic so not that we're promoting caustic so no <laughs> who uh, would you have to be very you have, there's a milder version of that called soda crystals yes but who would uh, who would actually promote caustic caustic soda uh, hey everyone guess no what hey I, i've discovered this new product and guess what it dissolves everything including your skin noemi alsur says i have spoilt the hinges on my oven door because of the chemicals mm. that's it because when you leave the oven for a long time and you don't clean it then it's almost impossible to get that baked on fat off so you need something drastic like that so the motto now is we're going to do it regularly aren't we mr duncan mm. you Which are of course means we won't <laughs> you know you well you're going to do it because you did such a good such a good job flattery will get you nowhere mr duncan well, oh, you've been doing something else, I believe, as well yesterday. Steve, once again yesterday, even though he wasn't feeling very well, he's he's feeling very delicate at the moment. Would that be fair to say, Steve? I, yes, I am. I just feel, I don't know, just out of sorts. Delicate. Delicate, sort of cold and achy. <laughs> uh, although I haven't been anywhere, so I don't know how I could, could have contracted any type of infection. No. Uh, I know. Don't worry, Mr. Duncan. Oh, no, I wasn't no. going to say anything. <laughs> I was just saying no because I don't. I don't think you could pick anything up. Yeah. You see. Yeah. I'm a man of all things, says Anna Pika. Uh, very true. My abilities are boundless. I'm only joking. Yeah. It's a joke. See, it's Lil joke. has Lil has the right idea. I always change the channel. It is so boring. All of the news is oh. always the same thing about. I know. 
do you know, Mr. D we, we've sort of joked. It's almost like all they tell us at the moment are all the death rates. Oh, OK. In all the different countries. Yes. And it's almost like there's some competition going on to see who can have the most. It's, it's quite bizarre the way it's being reported uh like almost like yes we're catching we're catching up with spain we've passed spain we're catching up with italy i mean it's you know it's uh macabre is that is the word isn't it it's 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 not there's something very wrong with constantly uh reporting death rates all the time because mm. every day hundreds and hundreds of people die anyway in your country yes so, anyway you know this is dwell on the subject but well you are <laughs> it has almost become a, a spectacle every day you're sort of waiting for the latest figures i'm not and uh yeah it's not very nice i don't like it let's stop let, let, let's stop talking about it it's okay. gone black mr duncan i have to be honest with you it was you that brought it up steve <laughs> i know but d does anybody else think that there's been too much preoccupation with talking yeah. about daily death rates okay of... steve steve this is this is supposed to be light and and fun I know, but i'm just asking if anybody agrees that this is something we ought to just i mean yeah anyway what do you think uh i'm just putting it out there mr duncan i know what i think <laughs> we should change the subject Mr. Steve seems very tired. He needs a rest. I know, but Mr. Duncan says you must appear on the live stream. I did. I made him do it. He made me do it. I said you've got to. It's your duty he to the beat work. Me. I said it's your duty. But I'm sitting down, so I feel a bit relaxed. Although it is a bit cold, um, so uh, I will muddle through, Mr. Duncan. Uh, and do the best job that I can to entertain and inform. OK, well, well, when are you going to start? <laughs> it's a lot. <laughs> so what have you been talking about today, Mr Duncan? Well, I'll tell you something. What I was going to mention is yesterday you were in the kitchen. You were in the kitchen and you were doing some cooking again and you've made some more of those delicious, amazing chocolate. Now, I want to say Rocky Road, but it isn't. But but they are like chocolate, crunchy chocolate and raisin cakes yes, or biscuits. I, it's it's a kind of Rocky Road. We, we gave the, the recipe away, didn't we? Yeah, um, so, so that is the same thing that, that three weeks ago we actually made and we gave the recipe. And apparently, did you know that, that one of our viewers actually made some of them themselves? Wow from the recipe that we gave on the live chat that's fantastic yes well they are delicious uh, two bars of dark chocolate um golden syrup um a bit of butter mix it all in a saucepan heat it up and then pour onto crushed biscuits mm. let it set in the fridge Ooh. and uh, cut it into little squares and oh yes we've got some of those later haven't we mr duncan oh yes uh, but uh, but yes, we had those yesterday after we had a roast chicken, didn't we? Mm. Yesterday, uh, I was exhausted after cooking. I was slaving away in the kitchen yesterday while Mr. Duncan was just looking at himself after the live stream. That's what he does, you know. After the live stream, he goes and watches it all again, and I can hear him laughing at himself. He's going, "Oh, I'm so funny! I'm so funny! Oh, look at me dancing to that music! Oh, I'm so funny!" I wasn't doing that. <laughs> his uh, ego, the... his ego is just so big. I was laughing though; it it made me laugh a little bit. But you didn't, did you see me dancing, Steve? It was quite funny, actually. Well, of course, because you insisted that I watched it. <laughs> Uh, which I did, and it, well, I must admit it was funny. I like you. I like it when you do the robot, <laughs> when you when you pretend to be a robot. Yeah, even, uh, yes, because Steve was laughing as well. He watched it this morning, and he, you were laughing as well, weren't you, Steve? I was because uh, we've known each other a long time, over thirty years. Um, I remember a long, long time ago, Mr. Duncan used to do that robot. There was it must have been a, must have been a some music in the charts or something where somebody was doing a robot movements or was it to, i bet it was star wars i bet mr duncan is imitating uh c-3po in star wars oh uh, i bet that's what it is because often people's 
say that you do resemble C-3PO. They, they used to say it at school. They used to sort of say that I was like C-3PO because I was very tall, you see. Tall uh, and skinny. Yeah. And uh, then you... So you, you got into this habit of... Uh, or developed this skill of, of acting like a robot. Uh, and uh, <laughs> it always used to make me laugh. Mm. And it was funny to see Mr Duncan doing it yesterday. Uh, oh... This has all gone wrong again, Mr. Duncan. No, you've gone wrong again. <laughs> this is what I do when they go wrong. I just stab at them. <laughs> the other day, Steve threw his mobile phone at the wall. I did. <laughs> it's, I'm not joking. I just lose the plot. If you lose the plot, it means you just... You just your temper becomes uncontrollable and you, there's no rational thinking going on anymore. You lose the plot. It just means that you're just anything could happen and you've just lost control. I just I just absolutely love the fact that Steve threw his mobile phone at oh, the wall. I've just I just worked out it's swipe to unlock. You see, this is different to my phone. This isn't my phone, this is Mr. Duncan's Samsung phone and it's different to mine. But I did. I was so angry that I threw it at the wall yes. and uh, there, there's an there's a dent in the wall now. Yes. Uh, where the phone was. But, you know, it's still working. Um, what, the wall? <laughs> it's got like a hard case round the, round the side. Yes. It's a work phone. Shh, don't say anything. It's a work yes. phone. Uh, and uh, it seems to be almost indestructible. Um, so I threw it at the wall and it was fine. Yeah. Everyone's complaining that, you, that Steve needs a bit of colour. They're saying Mr. Steve doesn't have any colour, so what I'm going to do... As people say, I don't look very well. It's nothing to do with that. It's the camera. <laughs> yes, the camera's making you look <laughs> ill. Let me just... I'm going to try and add a little bit of colour to Steve. Let's see if we can do that. Let's, <laughs> let's make Steve look as if he's actually alive. Mr. Steve, you look sick, says Roma. I mean, thanks a lot. <laughs> Talk about... I mean, I come on here to feel better, not to be made to feel worse. <laughs> I mean, it's true I don't feel 100% today, but, uh, you know, keep your insults to yourself. I'm only joking. I'm only joking. I'm not offended at all. But Mr Duncan's always fiddling around with the, the settings on these cameras. I mean, I say to him, just leave it in auto. Anyone else would just leave it in auto, but not Mr Duncan. He has to go into all the little functions and do set all the colour balances and and things like this. And do I look any better now, Mr Duncan? Uh, maybe. Uh, well, that's for the viewers to tell. Do I look any better now? Have I got more colour? Of course, Mr Duncan does this deliberately to make himself look more attractive. Uh, he deliberately makes me look <laughs> slightly white and pale. You have colour. Steve now looks like <laughs> he's not from a horror movie. <laughs> <laughs> Have you ever seen that program, The Walking Dead? Mm -hmm. Mr. Steve looks like one of the extras in the background. Thanks a lot. So I'm getting insults from everywhere at the moment. Oh, you look better now. Uh, do I? Yes. Now Everyone's saying now Mr. Steve looks like he's alive. Julie G says you saved him. So there we go. So I came on saying I didn't feel very well. <laughs> You'd set the camera to, to to make that look even more realistic. Well, I didn't do it on purpose. Ah, well, I'm not so sure, Mr. Duncan. OK, <laughs> you can think what you want. <laughs> so what else are you talking about today, Mr. Duncan? I don't know. I was waiting for you to actually run out of things to talk about. We, we were playing a little game earlier on. Would you like to play it again? Would Snakes you, do, and ladders. Steve, do you want to play with me? I'll play with a game that you've got. That's what I meant. Good. I don't know what you thought. I look alive now, says Noemi Alsura. It is nice that you, you now look as if you have... <laughs> You have the life force has returned. Well, the Roma says it looks now like I've got a fever. Oh. So you've gone from one extreme to... I can't win. <laughs> no, I, I think you look oh, a lot hear. better now. You look much better. Oh. <laughs> I, I think it is actually Steve. It's Steve we need to change. <laughs> I, I, my camera can only do so much. 
but but Steve has to at least try. It's this. I got it all over my face. Maybe, maybe we can put some some caustic soda on Mr. Steve's face. Maybe that will cheer him up. I tell you, if you wanted to dissolve a body, that don't, would be the thing to use. Don't try that, by the way. I know over the past few days, people have been getting some very strange advice from certain people who I won't name, but I'm sure you know who I'm talking about. So here are a couple of more. Well, we have four words here. What you have to do, Steve, is make a sentence out of these words. Don't do it straight away. So there is the next list of words. So what you have to do is make a sentence using those words. It's a little game that we're playing called the sentence game. And you can play along at home. Ooh, very nice. Very nice indeed. So those are the words we, town, bus, coat, we, town, bus, coat. What I want you to do is make a sentence out of those words. You have to use all of them as well. You have to use all of the words in the same order. We, town, bus, coat. And I will give you some time as well to come up with an idea of what it could be. Because now, Steve, guess what we're doing now? Um, I don't know. <laughs> oh, OK. What are we doing now? What could it be? We're going to have a dance? We're going to have a break. Oh. Does that sound good? Yes. I've only just come on, but fine. Well, I thought you might need a little <laughs> rest because you're feeling a little delicate today. Well, I think what I'll do is I'll, I'll just relax a little and uh, yeah, just uh, give me a shout when you're uh, when you're back on, Mr. Duncan. OK, so here is something that I did a few months ago when I was decorating the kitchen. I was redecorating the kitchen and I thought it would be interesting today to learn some new words connected with that activity. So now we are going not live. It is recorded. However, we are going to have a look at me in the kitchen doing some redecorating. Well, it's that time of year again when all of us start to think about making our homes look a little bit more bright, a little bit more cheerful. Perhaps there is a part of your house that has not worn very well over the years. Now, from my point of view, here in the kitchen, well, this particular kitchen has been like this since I moved here. In fact, when I arrived here, this kitchen was in a terrible state. And guess what? It still is. So today I am going to start doing some decorating in the kitchen. Nothing too drastic. Oh, I love that word. <gasps> the word drastic. Nothing too serious. Nothing too brutal. Nothing too drastic. So something that is drastic is something that is very, very important or something that is very necessary, drastic, something very destructive even. <laughs> so I'm not going to tear this kitchen to pieces, but what I am going to do is try to make it look a little bit more pleasant. I am going to do some cosmetic alterations to the kitchen. Starting off today with the thing you can see behind me, the wallpaper. So all of this wallpaper is going to come off today. I'm going to strip all of the walls here in the kitchen and then I will apply some paint after making sure that the walls are all lovely and smooth. So that's what I'm doing today. And of course, we did have some renovation done after moving here. We had some new stairs put in and that caused a lot of damage over there. We had to have part of the ceiling ripped out and replaced. So that is also going to be tended to. I am going to paint 
over all of that plaster that is over there. So as we take a look around the kitchen, you can see that there is a lot of work that needs doing. So to strip the wallpaper, I will need this device. It is called a wallpaper stripper. This is a very cheap version of a wallpaper stripper. You can get very expensive ones, but this one is very cheap. It is made of plastic. So what we have to do, we have to put some water inside the paper stripper. So this is used to strip wallpaper from the walls. So what will happen is that the water will heat up and generate steam and then the steam will be transferred up a pipe to the end where it will come out as steam. And then you can use a special plate that you apply to the wallpaper and then the steam will soak into the wallpaper and hopefully make it all loose and easy to strip off. So all I have to do now is wait for the water to heat up and for the steam to be produced and then I can get on with stripping off the wallpaper. This particular job may seem quite unpleasant to do, but you don't need much to do it. In fact, all you need is one of these. This is called a scraper. You scrape things off with it. So this particular tool is very, very useful, especially when you need to strip one thing from another. So all I have to do now is wait for the water to heat up and for the steam to be produced. And then I can get on with stripping the wallpaper from this wall. a boring job stripping off the wallpaper it makes me want to sob <laughs> so all I'm doing now is pressing the plastic plate onto the wallpaper and then the steam will slowly soften the wallpaper making it very very easy to scrape off I must say this is a very laborious task it's a very boring task. Something that's laborious takes a long time to do and quite often it is very tedious, very boring. Oh my goodness. 
I've come outside for a breath of fresh air because working inside that enclosed space is not very pleasant. An enclosed space is an area where no air can get in. So inside the kitchen, you could describe that as an enclosed space. And of course, all of the steam that is being produced by my wallpaper stripper is making the room very hot. In fact, just now it felt like I was in a sauna, to be honest. <laughs> so I've only done one wall so far, just one wall. And that took me half an hour to do. Such a long time. This is not the most pleasant job in the world, if I was completely honest with you. And I still have my work cut out. That's a great expression. I love that expression. If you have your work cut out for you, it means you still have a lot of work in store. You still have a lot of things to do. You still have a lot of work to carry out. Hello, Mr. Steve. Hello. We're on. <sighs> Mr. Duncan's very kindly put this blanket over me because, you know, I'm feeling a bit delicate and uh, it's not very warm at all. Um, so, uh, actually, this is an old blanket, an old sh blanket, an eider down. No, not an eider down. It's like a top blanket that I used to have on my bed when I was. A young lad uh, and I think I don't think it's homemade but I used to have this over my bed it was like the, the top sheet that would cover the bed uh, after uh, after it was made and in those days when I grew up you didn't have duvets you had sheets and blankets and layers of blankets uh, with a with a top blanket like this there used to be a name for that Mr. Duncan's disappeared, so I'll carry on. I'll assume he's not coming back. Um, so some very good answers to Mr. Duncan's um, uh, word selection. So well done to you all for all your answers. We go into town by bus wearing a coat. Uh, we went to town by bus, but we forgot to put the coat on. So all sorts of different ones. Um, and then we've got... I like the one from Artsby who says... How he sometimes looks after it. <laughs> <coughs> this is a filthy, disgusting old sheet. What, Mr. Duncan, what do you call... Uh, you remember in the old days, before duvet covers, when we <laughs> had blankets and sheets? This, went, this was the top one that went to cover all the bed. There's a name for it, but I can't remember. Divan? No, it's like the top... The blanket that goes over the top that, that looks pretty and attractive <laughs> that covers the bed someone will tell us bedspread yes bedspread bed the bedspread spread. that's, that's what it used to be called you know behind you steve there are a couple of uh, there are a couple of pigeons that are doing all the love stuff really yes i don't think you can see them on the camera or can you no i like art oh, speak and that, now they're uh, now they're mating this is all going on right behind. Right, right. The effect that we have on, on birds. There is actually, it's like... Artsby 30 says, <laughs> We came from town by bus to get Mr Steve a new orange warm coat. Thank oh. you very much. Oh, I somebody, like that one. That, somebody's yeah. thinking of me, you see. Oh, yes. We're playing the game, aren't we? We are. <laughs> That's it. I remember now. I remember what I'm doing. Yes. <laughs> we... Oh, what, what was what was that one? Uh, this is from Artsby Thirty. We came from we came from town by bus to get Mister Steve a new orange coat. A new orange coat. I like that because obviously I need some bright colours. I like Platina. What, uh, Hello, Platina. We we put our coat on to go downtown with the bus well actually what you can say is on the bus or by bus so what i would say is we put we put 
our coat on to go downtown on the bus we put our coat on to go downtown oh I suppose but but that's actually in a different order as well it has to be in the same order you see we town bus coat you might say we went to town by bus to buy a new coat you see I have to be strict with these rules or else there will be anarchy anarchy I still can't believe those pigeons <laughs> were, were copulating right behind Steve's head <laughs> I think word, Mr. Duncan. I, I think the sight of Mr. Steve got them very excited that's what I think Sergio says in our town we wear nothing under our coats when we take a bus oh I like that one so in in our town we oh no see that that's it's all it. wrong again that's not in the right order i think sergio is just being funny oh really so when we take the bus we wear nothing under our coats yes i suppose so <laughs> whatever turns you on although today i don't recommend it because it's freezing cold tomorrow so how about this we went to the town put the words up mr duncan we went to the town by bus yesterday and bought a very nice coat ah yes correct that's good so we went to town by bus and brought a very nice coat yes i like that one i like it a lot that's hello also to giovanni we went to town we went to the city by bus wearing a coat for the cold we went to the city but where is the word town where is town you see uh, tomek says let's let's read tomek's out see what it says here we are heading to the town by bus in order to get a new coat we are heading to town by bus to get a new coat yes yes, yes. correct yes they are all in the right order and your grammar is beautiful we went can i suggest one we went into town and on the way got run over by a bus <laughs> <laughs> and uh, someone very kindly put their coat over me to keep me warm while we waited for the ambulance to arrive <laughs> i thought you were going to say over your dead body <laughs> <laughs> but some people have done some funny different ones okay uh tatiana says i look like a baby <laughs> wow <Wah! laughs> oh dear baby steves oh yes okay <laughs> Uh, oh, is that one there in winter? No, I don't think so. Some very good. Anyway, well done to everyone. <laughs> you know, you're coming out with just random words now. <laughs> <laughs> it, it, these aren't sentences. Are you OK, Steve? Will there be a live stream tomorrow? Asks Annie. Yes, Annie Corn. There will be a live stream tomorrow because I'm with you every day. So there was the last one. That was the previous one. Shall we have another one? We're going to have another one. Another sentence game. Let's play the sentence game. Hot, eh? Everyone can join in. We're all playing the game right here. Every single day. Did you like my song then? I, I made that up myself. OK, here's another one. You have to come up with some. <laughs> you have to come up with some sentences. So here is the, the next one, Steve. Steve, you can play as well. Would you like to play along, Steve? Go on. Oh, I'm not okay, doing anything then. else at the moment, so I may as well. I love the fact that Steve looks like he's. Hello, Mr. Pheasant. Mr. Pheasant is saying hello. I don't know why your face looks like it's gone very dark. Are you okay? You're not freezing, are you? Oh no, I'm quite hot. Here we go, Steve. The words are tomorrow visit while and unwind. Mm, unwind. Tomorrow visit while unwind. So make a sentence from those particular words. But they must be in that order. So don't change the order. You must have tomorrow visit while unwind in that order 
You have to make a sentence. Oh, isn't this fun? <laughs> Meanwhile, Mr. Steve will sing a song about how it feels to be sitting in the garden in the freezing cold on a Sunday afternoon. I am sitting in the garden in the freezing cold. On a Sunday Helping Mr. Duncan on his live English stream. How about that? Very good. <laughs> Uh, I can do it. That's like almost like a rap. You know, I, I might actually release that as an MP4. <laughs> How about an MP3? Any suggestions yet from your word selection? I am waiting. We have some suggestions coming through. I feel it. I can feel it from the other side. I'm getting a strange vibration up my left leg. Ooh. We're still getting suggestions from the last set of words. OK. Uh, Cap Devi 2 says, Mr Duncan and Mr Steve went together in the bus wearing only a red coat and suddenly they took it off. <laughs> so we, we were just wearing one coat, the two of us. Interesting. Uh, well, it wouldn't be the first time that we've tried to, to wear the same clothes twice. Uh, Viv... K says hello from Malaysia. Hello. Oh, hi Malaysia. Hi to you. I was thinking about Malaysia in it yesterday. Yes. I was thinking about Malaysian food. I want to go back to Malaysia and sample some of that delicious food. Well, they were selling it, weren't they, on a shopping channel? They were. Somebody's brought out a selection of Malaysian food uh, that you can buy here in the UK now to make your own uh, make your own meals, and it looked very nice. <laughs> I think Steve might be getting some commission <laughs> tomorrow. Visit while unwind. Not sure why you put unwind on the bottom there, Mr. Duncan. Well, it's just part of the game. It's quite difficult to get a get a sentence with unwind at the end. You can. You can use. There are many sentences you can make with the word unwind at the end unwind by the way means relax so if you unwind it means you do something ah. to make you feel relaxed unwind you relax a little bit like mr steve in his chair so mr steve is relaxing in his chair and he's covered with blankets and everything because he feels the cold very easily. Yes, Parisa says, what does unwind mean? So you've oh. explained that. Yes. Uh, we've got Ricardo, I think, is the first person to come up. Uh, oh, no, uh, Nancy, I think, was the first. No. <laughs> uh, Make your mind up. Francesca says, tomorrow I am going to visit my mum while my son is... Oh, no, that's not right. I, don't, I think that's just a statement. <laughs> Nancy says, tomorrow they may visit the garden while it is unwind. Not sure about that one. Uh, oh, I see. Yes, Francesca, tomorrow I'm going to visit my mum while my son is unwell. Could that be? Yeah. Yes. <laughs> well, it, it would be right if any, <laughs> any of those words were actually in the sentence. <laughs> yes, unwind means to relax. Yes. We'll remind you again that the word unwind means relax. If you unwind... It means so, uh, you relax. The opposite is wind up. So Steve sometimes, Steve will get wound up by things, quite often leading to him throwing his mobile phone at the wall. <laughs> and many other things. Many other things as well. Tomorrow, this is uh, highly Quang. Tomorrow I will visit my uncle. While I'm going to go to the beach to unwind. Hmm? Yeah, yeah, very good. good. Tomorrow visit while unwind. Yes, that seems that seems in order. Mm -hmm. uh, Beatrice mm. says tomorrow I will visit your garden while the birds unwind. <laughs> the birds unwind. I don't. Yes. Yeah, so unwind it means to relax. Mm. I don't think birds unwind. No. Maybe they do. Well, I think they do in the evening, don't yes. they? They, they sort might of... be feeling stressed at the moment. You wouldn't use the word unwind to describe a bird's behaviour. Mm. I've never heard that used in that way. Sorry. Uh, tomorrow I'm going to visit my parents 
while my wife will unwind herself into the gym. <laughs> I like that. A wind. Says uh, uh, Massimo. Uh, yes, I think, yes, I think you mean relax. So mm. ex taking exercise, unwinding. Mm. Unwind means relax. Relieve your stress. Tomorrow, oh. I... Oh, yes. Here's a good one from Tatiana. To oh, maybe you were going to read that one out. Tomorrow, I will visit the cinema... Put the, put the words up, Mr. Duncan. Tomorrow I will visit the cinema uh, while watching a movie while I unwind myself. Mm. Yes. Uh, you just want to say while um, to unwind. Yes, yes, to unwind or wh whilst I unwind. But you, you don't really need to unwind yourself. But that's good. This is what we are here to do. You see, yes. we are exploring the English language and we are coming up with many different suggestions. Thank you very much. Put the words up again, Mr. Duncan. There are the words. Uh, tomorrow, Mr. Duncan will visit a museum while Mr. Duncan will unwind. Oh, so tomorrow, Mr. Steve will visit a museum while... Mr. Mr. Steve will unwind. That's good because with Mr. Duncan out of the house, I can finally relax. Mm. That's that's the best one so far. Well done. Uh, Tomorrow, <laughs> if if I can do it or if I can get away with it, I will visit the local park while the police are watching me. I hope I will be able to unwind. <laughs> Here's a good one from Ong. These are getting uh, these are getting suggestive. Oh. Tomorrow I will visit my Fram for a while and unwind on the hay. <laughs> I think we know what you mean there. Wow. I think we know what yes. you mean, you naughty person. <laughs> unwind on the hay. You could say in the hay would be better yes. better use. There is there. there is only one there is only one thing that that could mean. I think maybe you were thinking of doing the same thing as those pigeons earlier behind Steve. I can't believe they were doing that. They were actually they were actually making love. Uh, <laughs> Oleg uh, has said to put the words up again. I keep forgetting the order of the words. Tomorrow we're going to visit our friends for a while to unwind. That's very good. Yes. That's very good. Yes. Tomorrow we're going to visit our friends for a while to unwind. Yes. So we're going to have a lot of fun and laughter, maybe a few drinks. So the construction of this sentence is quite easy, uh, quite interesting. So tomorrow you're going to do something, but at the same time you are going to do something else. So tomorrow I will visit my grandmother or my mother while she is at ho home because she needs to unrest. She needs to rest and unwind. So tomorrow I will visit my mother while she is resting and recuperating because the doctor said that she miss she needs to unwind unwind rest so there are many combinations of words that you can put in between these words on this piece of paper here's one from tomic tomorrow i will visit a massage parlor and while there i will definitely unwind <laughs> okay tomic Yes, I told you, you see, you, the, the, the choice of Mr. Duncan's words is, is unleashing all sorts of dirty thoughts. I, I do like minds. a story with a happy ending. Oh, Mr. Duncan, there's a naughty joke. Uh, I do think it's an odd choice of words, Mr. Duncan, to create a sentence from. But never oh, mind. shut up. <laughs> Tomorrow I'm going to, says uh, uh, Mesfair uh, Al Mankey. Tomorrow... I'm going to visit Mr. Duncan while he will unwind in his garden. Yes. Yes, like a spring. Yes. That's why we say unwind means to relax, because if a spring is is tense, uh, when it unwinds, it relaxes. 
So, you, you know, it's the same thing, like a spring releasing, unwinding. Mm. Yes, the word unwind can be used as a verb as well. You might unwind something as you are taking something out or off. Maybe you unwind the hose pipe. Maybe you, you unwind some rope. So you can use it also as a verb as well. Yes, you are right. It can be used as a verb or the action of just unwinding you are sitting there marina mm. says steve tomorrow steve will visit is it tomorrow is the first tomorrow the first word mr duncan I don't know. Uh, well we've got we've got another set of words coming right let's go let's move ahead then but that right. oh that's good yes tomorrow i will visit a karaoke bar while i unwind myself um you don't normally use you don't wouldn't normally say I'm going to unwind myself. Mm. You wouldn't usually say that. Mm. You you might say you might say um oh I've been so tense at work recently. I just need to unwind. I need to unwind or I want to Yes, I need to unwind is the commonest way you would use that. Yes. Tomorrow uh, I will <laughs> I like artsby. Tomorrow I will visit my half orange. I don't know what a half orange is whilst we unwind ourselves watching a special film on the telly tomorrow yes. I will visit while yes I suppose that they are in the right order yes good yes the, the when you're using the word unwind to describe something you're going to do to relax to unwind yes you you wouldn't see you would use that to, you, you the way that's being often used for a lot of people isn't the right way really uh, you would say i'm going to unwind or i i, mm. I need to unwind yes. i feel as if i need to go away for a few days and unwind or go away for a few days to unwind yes very just nice. to relax very nice <laughs> yes <laughs> oh sergio is getting angry with me he yes says, you don't say let's go go on no you go on i was going to say yes you don't normally say i'm going to unwind myself mm. that uh, that wouldn't be correct use of the, no. of the phrase you might unwind a snake <laughs> yes yes you unwind if you use if you you can unwind some flex some uh, so this uh, cable uh, this ca you could unwind some cable <laughs> that's connected to the <laughs> but you wouldn't unwind yourself uh, you wouldn't use that expression in that way uh, you would say oh i need to unwind and then you finish the sentence on unwind you wouldn't say anything else after it is that correct mr duncan yeah. the pheasant is getting very excited i'm not surprised he's watching the pigeons sergio said oh strict word order is senseless it, it, it's just a limit to our imagination but what i'm actually doing is putting more pressure on you to have those in that order so in fact it is the opposite what i'm actually doing is putting more pressure on you to create the sentence with those words think. in the right order think it's the opposite you see so i'm actually forcing you to think more i'm not making it very easy because what's the point there is no point having a test if it is easy there is no point what is the point OK, here we go. Another one. This will probably be the last one before we go inside. I can feel already that my body is starting to freeze. I can feel. Do you want this blanket, Mr. Duncan? Certain parts of my body are starting to turn blue. Do you want to know what parts of my body are turning blue? It's his nose. <laughs> near. You're near. Here we go, Steve. Uh there start money carefully mm. construct a sentence from that that makes sense yes and also in that order so you can't change the words around they have to be in that order there start money carefully carefully you do something carefully of course you do it with care and attention you do something with some thought or consideration you do it carefully so there is the next there 
start money carefully can you come up with a sentence come on Sergio give us a sentence <laughs> uh, Juan Jose Diaz Radovic oh. says hi Mr Duncan and Mr Steve from Chile it's Chile here as well no I'm only joking yes I've, I've, yes from uh, Vina Vina del Mar is that my eyesight's not very good <laughs> in Chile you look uh, you make some lovely wine in Chile uh, and uh, we have quite a lot of it here in the UK Chilean wine is got a good reputation here in the UK oh I see so so that is wine that's made in Chile uh, yes yes we it's quite popular here um, French wine probably isn't I would it's probably sort of popular here but I would say maybe Chilean wines may be more popular oh. or South African wine well some uh, French some French wine is quite expensive I think that's it it's always expensive French wine here in the UK we don't like to spend much money on wine we like to have cheap wine we do we we spend the least amount of well I think ge I'm t we're talking generally. Well, but you yes. are. <laughs> but uh, you shouldn't do that because when you spend uh, not very much money on wine, you don't get very much grape in the bottle. Oh, I see. Uh, so what is it then? It's mainly chemicals. Mm. Uh, so you ought to spend, apparently, you ought to spend at least 10 or 12 pounds on a bottle of wine. You don't need apparently need to spend much more than that. So I don't know about... 12 euros 13 euros something like that uh on a on, on a bottle of wine will get you a good bottle of wine in yes. the uk if you only spend four or five pounds you get a very poor quality wine yes. but so there's the no point in spending 20 or 30 pounds it doesn't get that much better no. apparently so okay. 12 is around the Yes. optimum price to pay yes, the average and if you want a nice bottle of wine you have to pay about 12 pounds for a bottle i think that's what steve is saying oh we've got some answers already oh, good good so quickly you are working very hard today even though it is sunday a lot of people are giving me their answers hello juan juan radovic who says hi steve Hi from Chile. I think that's how we started talking about wine, wasn't it? Giovanni says there is a chance to start making money, but we have to think carefully. Oh, very good. That's a good one. I like that one. Yes. Also, Maria, there are many ways to start raising money carefully. There are many ways to start raising money carefully yeah good there will be consequences for using money carefully but there is no start there you see you need the word start as well there is a project that we can start to make money but we need to be very carefully the grammar is wrong there so what you would say actually is careful we need to be careful we need to be very careful but of course you could say there is a project that we can start to make money but we need to be we need to think about it carefully we need to think about it carefully because you are expressing the way you are doing something you are doing it carefully we need to be careful we are doing it carefully good quite a few today i have rather enjoyed this yes. game well done everyone that's a good game mr duncan is a good yeah. i love the the image of steve he looks like charlie chaplin during his last days alive <laughs> thank his, you mr duncan in his garden in switzerland waiting waiting for the grim reaper <laughs> i don't uh, like all this talk of death all right well, you started it steve started all of that earlier with your uh, francesca here we go francesca 
there will be starting mm, mm, there will be starting a competition the prize will be money we need to be careful not to do do not not to say anything wrong hmm yes there will be yes okay oh here's a good one from Anna Pika there is there is a way to start earning money carefully yes there is a way to start earning money carefully there is a way to start earning money carefully something you do carefully or, is some sorry or Chris says there are ways to start using money carefully ah yes there are ways to start using money carefully now I will suggest one of my own one of my own there are many ways to start saving money if you do it carefully so there are many ways to start saving money if you do it carefully saving money is something that isn't easy to do you might want to put a little bit of money aside if you are saving your money over a long period of time it can take a long time and sometimes you have to think about it carefully you also have to do it carefully as well I was just thinking Steve about a great slang word for drink like wine or beer especially wine can, can you think of the, the the slang word does it begin with B B booze booze well booze B double O Z E is a general slang term for anything that's alcoholic any alcohol however oh wine yes. when we are talking about wine there is a great slang word that we use here in the UK does it begin with a V no no oh P yes ah yes the word is plonk plonk it's a great slang term so when we talk about wine here in the UK we often describe it as plonk and we always like to say cheap plonk we always like to find somewhere that sells cheap plonk so that is a slang term that we use here in the UK to describe wine poor quality wine isn't yes. it usually quite often the, the yes cheap and quite often not very good quality wine not very good quality you hello p l o n k plonk it's a great expression plonk <laughs> i don't know about you steve but i am absolutely freezing it's getting i'm not i could be here i could just sit here quite carefully for another hour that's because you've got your lovely blanket covering you i know yeah uh, well my front is warm but my back is cold yes <laughs> i think i need a couple of paracetamol mr duncan yes you need something because uh, i've got a bit of a headache oh uh but then it was probably the fumes oh. from the uh the the soda crystals this morning yes uh are we going then mr duncan or shall i go first you can go first I know why you want me to go first because you want me to go inside and make a cup of tea and uh, toast the hot cross buns for you. Yes, I can't believe that we can still get hot cross buns. Well, I was late yesterday. They now shut at two o'clock, the bakers yes. in Much Wenlock. They normally used to shut at 3.30, but now during this crisis, they're shutting at two. Mm. And I got there and the door was shut. I <laughs> banged on the window and they were very kindly came out and uh, and sold me some bread because <laughs> steve was banging on the window of the bakery he was demanding that they give him his bread well we always have the same order every week so they always have it ready in a bag for us so they didn't have to do anything special they just had to come to the door with the bag yeah and i gave them the money hmm. uh, but yes we nearly we nearly missed out on our regular supply of bread 
Uh, right, Mr. Duncan, I will go inside. Yeah. And uh, as I say, make us a cup of tea and toast a hot crust bun mm. with plenty of butter for you, Mr. Duncan. You mm. have double the amount of butter that I would have. In fact, there's so much butter on Mr. Duncan's uh, hot crust bun that if you squeezed it, it would drip out yes. all over your fingers. All of the butter would run out. OK, lovely to see you all and uh, hopefully see you next week. Yes. Well, no, I will see you next week. Definitely. Feeling a bit fitter and a bit more uh, raring to go. Yes, a, a bit more active. A bit more active. Maybe I'll be standing up, maybe I'll be dancing around. I've got to say, the grass hasn't... The new grass seed that I put in on Monday uh, hasn't started coming up yet. No, it's too early. So but I, also, I think most... <laughs> I think the blackbirds have eaten most of it. Yes, I'll have to get the shotgun out. Well, every time I every time I look at Mr. Steve's little patch in the corner of the garden, there, it's always covered with blackbirds. <laughs> yeah, so I'll put those plants in, as as anyone was watching last week will see, will have seen, and uh, I also the bare patch of ground. I put some grass seed on it, and I'm watering it every day, in the hope that it will uh, it will start. The seeds will start sprouting and we'll have a nice new patch of grass at the back of the garden. Mm. Extra work from me because I'll have to mow it, but it'll look nice. Mm. OK, ta-ta to you all and see you next week. Thank you, Mr. Steve. Bye. And Mr. Steve is now going. And now it is just me, only me left. I hope Mr. Steve remembers that his microphone is still live. Pardon? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why, but when Steve does things... <laughs> Oi! You did that on purpose. terrible terrible it's almost time to go yeah we've been here for quite a while actually i think the fumes from the, the caustic soda has made you sick mr steve says platina you might be right actually you might actually be right i think maybe he's been i don't know what he's been doing in the kitchen this morning but he was very busy cleaning the oven Thank you very much for your company. I am going now for two reasons. One, I've been here for two hours. And the other reason is I am absolutely freezing. It is quite cold outside today here in England. So it's almost time for me to go. However, I will be back with you tomorrow. 2 p.m. UK time. 2 p.m. UK time. I will be back tomorrow. I hope you enjoyed today's live stream we had a little bit of fun we had some games we had mr steve recuperating from whatever it is mr steve is suffering from at the moment the one thing i know is it is definitely not okay definitely not i'm sure mr steve will be feeling well soon i think so Thank you very much for your company. Thank you very much. I am going to have a cup of tea and a hot cross bun in the house where it is nice and warm. This is Mr. Duncan saying I will see you tomorrow. I will be back with you. Don't forget 2 p.m. UK time. Apparently next week the weather is going to be OK. It isn't going to be warm or hot but it is going to be okay which means i don't think we are going to get much rain so that's quite good so maybe we will be outside for the rest of the week who knows we will have to wait and see thank you very much mosen marcia beatriz lookman or look thank you maria also tanya Peter, Martha, 
Barong hello to you as well and also goodbye Belarusia I didn't see you there Belarusia I couldn't see your blue spanner that's why I think so see you later take care everyone it's been lovely being here with you again and I hope you've enjoyed today's live stream and I'm pretty sure Mr. Steve made it a little bit more interesting to say the least and of course until tomorrow don't forget 2 p.m. UK time this is Mr. Duncan in the birthplace of English saying thanks for watching see you tomorrow I hope you will be here with me once more and of course until tomorrow you know what's coming next yes you do ta-ta for now